Yo, Shagon here, back with a new video on how to get your Snapchat Geo Filter activated. So it's very easy. You just need to go on the Snapchat website. I'll leave the link down below. Alright, here's the link right there. Then you'll want to um click the download Photoshop template. So once you have that loading just open it with Photoshop or if you use Adobe Illustrator so once we're here now you just want to delete that part it's only telling you to save and upload transparent PNG so we'll just remove that right there mm -hmm. delete yes okay so the first step you need to create a buffer zone with the ruler so as you can see right here I'm creating my buffer zone and at the bottom as well so you don't want your artwork to pass these buffer zones right so I created a new layer it's a text layer select the text tool Control T and just type in your town or city I'll use Mandeville because this is where I'm from. Then you just want to change the text size, play around with it. It doesn't have to be exact as mine, but you know, it's just an example. So now we want to give it some life, some color. You just need to go to the FX part on Photoshop. I'll show you. It's right at the bottom. The FX. Then you want to go blending options. So once you're in blending options now, there's a ton of different um, styles, layer styles you can choose from. But I'm going to go simple because this is just a tutorial and I remember guys, you can tweak this to whatever you like to. It's just a tutorial. You have bevel emboss, texture, inner shadow, inner glow, all that good stuff. But I'm just doing a um, stroke and color overlay so what I did I went to gradient I have some presets in here I'll just choose one of these um, which one I'll go with that one hit ok then you want to go to gradient overlay I put mine to black because it gives it some more pop I think and yeah keeping it simple as usual then just want to create another text text layer that says welcome to all right so we'll do the same procedure here going to FX change the blending options and just play around with it to see um which one we like but first up let me get a, a um a font style I want to try and get a cursive font style yes no 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 um i can't remember the exact one i used for my um geo filter but uh i'll just use a random one i want to change the text color because it's kind of blending it with the mandible so i'll change that to white i know you can't really see the white so we need to put a stroke on this to outline it right so I got the blending options again. Hit stroke. Where's stroke? Right there. Then change to gradient so we can get a cool color for the stroke. Yes. I don't do like rainbow still, in a but it's just a tutorial. Don't nobody don't use rainbow here. Yeah? Sorry, sorry for the rainbow thing. Never mean for do this, guys. Just sued me. So once that's done, it will look something like this. Remember, guys, this is only an example. You can do whatever you feel like, as long as you stay within the buffer zone. So now you want to save for web, right? Make sure you click save for web, and you want to make sure you choose PNG slash twenty four. Right, then you choose transparent, keep transparent ticked. Press save, 
save it to your desktop, save it anywhere, save it outside, save it, save it anywhere if you like, on your thumb drive, in your brain, anywhere. Alright, so we want to go on the Snapchat website, right? Hit the upload part, select the image, open, boom. Really simple. Enter your name, your email address, and very important part, why the location is meaningful to you. You have to really, act, you have to actually put um, a little paragraph here. Don't put blah 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 because they won't activate it, okay? And an additional note, and make sure you select the three boxes right here, and then select the part that says I am not a robot. And then, guess what? You hit submit, and Snapchat will email you a message saying that congrats your submission was sent that's after you finish all of this so we need to create our geofence right so you want to create your geofence around the city which is Mandeville as you can see Mandeville in the middle right there I'm selecting my geofence my original geofence wasn't this large because I kinda kept it to Mandeville alone so once you have your geofence fence submitted make sure it's within the town of Mandible and not in Mobi or something like that alright so that's it guys like subscribe comment and um, just just subscribe